This is a 5 liter V10 engine from Lamborghini. The car burned full down. You see here are the rest of the intake and there are a lot of material what melted down. So our mission called to rebuild this engine and build a 2000 horsepower engine. First we clean up all silicone rests. Here you see it is a lot of work because the engine is big. And uh, after we have done this, the engine went over in the cleaning machine. That is a normal machine for cleaning for engine shops. That is uh, on water on 80 degrees with cleaner. And this is a soda blast machine. So the hard particles we melt it down, we can uh, blast away super easy. It is of course a lot of work, but uh, the result is absolutely awesome. And uh, you see here, it looks like a new one. After 50 minutes in the cleaning machine, the block is ready, the loose particles are away. So the next step is to soda blast the engine. As you can see, the machine is a little bit too small for this big engine, but uh, we made it and uh, I think the whole cleaning procedure needs something about three or four hours. It was a, a lot of work and uh, <laughs> also my dad is helping here. <laughs> That's cool. When we was uh, ready with all parts, we put everything out and uh, worked then the final job with the steam emitter to uh, clean every particle out there that is uh, step one of this and after this again in the cleaning machine so now definitely the block was super yeah and uh, that are the new sleeves for this engine that's the owner it's a german youtuber philip case and uh, that are the pistons there are Mahler pistons the weight is super and we use their auto ready rods. The heads are already ported from NG Motorsports and the combustion chamber is CNC machined with a Supertech valve train. So we start uh, the machine work. We need a precision shaft for fixing the engine perfect on our bearing bar. And uh, here you can see how the shaft is made. I really love to see CNC machines. Yeah, in the next step we calculate uh, the main bore. We have to hone it and here you see we hone the main bore. That works fine. It is now perfect and now we can adjust for the first time the V10 engine on our my boring bar. So we install the crankcase the crankcase is uh, holding down with special bolts. These bolts are made from Pro Series. They got a lot of Newton meter. These ones in the middle got something about 120 Newton meters. And the smaller one got 50 Newton meters. That makes the crankcase much more stable. So here I make a small story for Instagram. And uh, now the second step, we tighten it down in two steps. After this, we need a third man because it is super heavy, heavy with the precision shaft to install it on my boring bar. And uh, so it is the best way to install a V engine on a boring bar. Yeah, we tied everything down and now we can adjust it perfect to the boring bar. Here I have a small level on the engine. Then we install two small supports that is against vibration. After this we check the level again and uh, now we are fine. So I tied everything down and in the next step I can adjust the cutting tool. Alex bring the sleeves. Uh, I check the sleeves again. They are 
made super well. They are made in Germany. Now I check the cylinder bore. Then I know how, I, how much millimeter I have to cut out there. And uh, uh, then I start to locate all center of the cylinder bore. This is a CNC machine. So it do it full automatically. I only have to say how much uh, bore distance it has and uh, how big is the bore. So you see that it works super fast and it is much more accurate. Yes, and now I install the cutting tool. I check again the speeds and feeds. And so we can start boring. I do some stories for Instagram or TikTok. I speed it a little bit up because I think the whole boring procedure needs something about, hmm, it was five, four hours or something like this. So now I adjust the cutting tool again and uh, we do the next boring step. Looks fine. I speed it a little bit up. Here I checked the diameter. Everything was fine. So the so work can go on. Yes, I adjust the cutting tool again. Boss, Dax and Pina check it also and say it's fine. Now I have uh, just uh, drilling depth because uh, the sleeve has down another diameter than at the top area. So now it's good. We do the same job and now I have to change the boring bar because uh, this is a max diameter. Now I need a bigger one. I install the bigger boring bar. And do the same job. We need uh, at the top area for the uh, sleeve a much bigger diameter. It was 96 millimeters. So I have to change all settings and have to adjust the centers again. This works fine. So we can do now the top area here where the sleeve sit. That is uh, one of the important steps. I check again the depth and now I change the diameter of the cutting tool. And I also use a new cutter because that is the last step. And when I have a new cutter is the surface perfect. And uh, that's very important. So check again and now the last step. After this, we are ready. Yeah, and here you can see how it works in real speed. The feed is 0 0.02 millimeters and with 280s RPM. Yeah, and uh, that is it. That was the final bore of one side and the next day I do the other side. And what is super nice, look at this surface. It is so clean. Uh, the sleeve have a perfect fitting. Here I check it. Yes, looks super nice. Yes, guys, I, I hope you like this style of videos with a over voice. If yes, make sure that you subscribe on my channel and hit the like button. In the next video, we will uh, press the sleeves in, build a torque plate and assemble the engine block. So I'm pretty sure that will be a nice video. So thanks for watching and See you in the next one. Ciao.